Facebook's foray into the world of e-commerce did not go as planned. As we reported yesterday, Facebook's new Marketplace is a platform that lets users buy and sell goods with other nearby users. It's seen as a potential competitor to eBay and Craigslist. But as Julia Borston reports, Facebook's Marketplace quickly became a black market. Within hours of Facebook launching its Marketplace feature, people were selling everything from drugs and guns to animals and sex. Criticism of these types of offerings exploding on Twitter and Facebook itself. It's shocking that a company that is as in tune to what's going on in its platform as Facebook to have those kind of issues come up is a big surprise. I think it's uh, an oversight on a filter and likely to be quickly corrected. The feature is designed for Facebook's 1.7 billion users to sell items to each other within the app. Facebook saying 450 million people already visit buy and sell groups each month. Facebook apologizing for the illicit items, saying a technical issue prevented the identification of posts that violated company policies saying, quote, we are working to fix the problem and will be closely monitoring our systems to ensure we are properly identifying and removing violations before giving more people access to Marketplace. But Facebook's Marketplace has drawn criticism for the fact that it doesn't have a secure payment system or star ratings like eBay does. And security experts warn that it doesn't facilitate delivery, which could lead to in-person meetings with unvetted sellers. Now analysts are watching to see whether it poses a threat to eBay, Etsy, and Craigslist, and what it says about Facebook's ability to innovate. I would see it as it's incremental. It's not necessary. What's necessary is for them to really nail the monetization advertising around Instagram, the video piece of it, continuing to be competitive with Snapchat, tapping into bots and messaging with WhatsApp, and building VR and mixed reality with Oculus. Those are the real foundations of the company. This isn't Facebook's first try with Marketplace. It first launched something very similar back in 2007, but it never took off. Instead, Facebook shifted the feature over to groups, allowing people to post items for sale. We'll see what Facebook learned from that experience and this latest technical misstep to make Marketplace work this time. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Los Angeles.